What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about some of the tools that we use when cleaning and restoring shoes as full-time shoe resellers. So let's dive in. Welcome to our channel. My name is Ryan, my beautiful wife Lindsay and I. We go by Rinzi. We are full-time shoe resellers. That means we buy and sell shoes for profit, it pays all of our bills, and then some. We've been doing it for about two and a half years. We've sold over 11,000 pairs of shoes for over half a million dollars. If this is something that you're interested in, please consider subscribing. Today we're gonna to jump into the tools that we use as full-time shoe resellers to clean and restore some of the used shoes that we source. So this is the corner of our apartment that we use and we've set it up to restore and clean shoes. Let's dive into some of the tools that we use. Get some light over here. So these are the tools we're gonna to be showing you today. The very first thing right here, this is a hand Dremel. This right here is a heat tool. This is just your normal drill with a soft bristle brush on top. We call this a dry brush. This is a fabric shaver. Here are uh, three different grades of brushes if we have to do a deep clean. Here is a really sharp pair of scissors. We have a Sharpie and then our favorite tool. This is a chain saw file. We're going to dive in and show you how we use each one of these tools. So we're gonna, in future videos, we're gonna show you uh, more in depth of us actually using these tools. But the first thing we wanna show you is the hand Dremel. This is a seven speed when hand Dremel uh, or a rotary tool. We got this on Amazon and then we went to Walmart and got the 208 piece rotary tool set. So we have every single piece we're ever gonna need. The majority of what we use this tool for is when we come across a pair of boots where the outer layer of it is just really, really roughed up. We use um, one of the softest uh, pieces of sandpaper tool at the end, and then we actually turn it on and we take the very, very top layer off of the boot. It's just a different way to clean the boot. And then as you can see, uh, it brings out the color in the boots. So we use a seven speed when hand Dremel. All right, so the next tool that we are gonna show you is a 300 watt heat tool. There's a bunch of different brands. We jumped on Amazon and picked this up. It was very inexpensive. I think it was under $15. The whole point, obviously, of a heat tool is that it pumps out really, really hot air. Where we use this is when you come across a pair of shoes that has a sticker on the bottom. Uh, we wanna pull this sticker off without leaving all the residue. So when you turn this on, it just basically warms up the glue that is on the sticker and then it allows you to pull the sticker off. And doesn't leave any of the residue so you're not picking at the paper and leaving the paper on. It's also uh, very, makes it so it's super, super quick. So the next tool we wanna show you is a simple hand drill. Uh, again, we got this on Amazon, super inexpensive. We have a couple different hand drills, but uh, this one is Black & Decker. And then we ordered again on Amazon some soft bristle brushes. Uh, emphasis being on soft bristle. Uh, what we do with these is, we're using these, we just took the sticker off this side, but they had uh, used um, some kind of marker to write on the bottom. So the way we use this hand drill is simply, most of you probably have seen this item, which comes on the, on the top of a lot of foam shoe cleaners. And what we used to do is spray and then wash like this. And then we realized if we could replicate this motion uh, and have it go over and over quicker, we'd be able to clean the bottoms of shoes, we'd be able to get the marker off, and we'd save a lot of time. So what we did is we thought about this, which is replicating the same exact motion you're doing with this. So if you want to continue to use this, this is that's completely okay. We want to make sure uh, it's getting cleaned and getting all that marker off and a little bit quicker, also saving a little bit of energy. Um, shout out to Grandma's Secret Sneaker Cleaner. Again, we got this on Amazon. We use this uh, very frequently. Again, you just put a little spray on there. And then as you can see, again, it's not about 
it's not about pushing really hard. It's about getting as many strokes as possible across the marker that's on the bottom. And as you can see, it took it right off. All right, so the next two things that we want to show you are the dry brush. And one thing that we forgot to mention are towels. We always have towels in arm's length, and we'll show you how we use these. We're going to continue to use these Sanita clogs. We took the sticker off. We took the writing off the bottom. Now we're going to show you how we use the dry brush. Now, we always try to source shoes that don't need a lot of cleaning, but if we do have shoes, just assume that there's a little bit more dirt, a little bit more crud. We'll use the dry brush to get all of that off before we use the sneaker cleaner. Obviously, when you add uh, any type of liquid to dirt, it creates mud, so we'll use the dry brush to get off any pieces of dirt that we possibly can. Then, we're gonna apply our sneaker cleaner, we're going to use our drill, again, just assuming that there's a, there was a, some dirt on the bottom of here. We're going to make sure we get it very thorough. And then this is where the towel comes into play. We're just going to give it a wipe off to get as much suds as we possibly can. And then we're going to come back to the dry brush to get all that liquid off. Now, obviously, you can see the difference between what we did and what we didn't. Dry brush is super, super important. Keep a towel in arm's length always. All right, so the next tool we are going to show you is this fabric shaver. Uh, we got this at Walmart. You can find it on Amazon. There's lots of different places, and it's exactly uh, what its name is. It's a fabric shaver. We come across uh, really good pairs that sometimes have a lot of fuzz. You can see that. You can see all in the heel right here that there's a lot of fuzz. And we used to use gloves and hand pick it out, but then we came across a hand shaver. And I'll show you guys real quick. Let's get a before. Make sure you can see like right in there, there's a bunch of fuzz. And then this does not damage uh, the shoes at all. It's just getting the very, uh, top layer and it's getting all those fuzz balls right off. I'll show you just after a few seconds You can see it Takes them right off and then we still have to do all around here Definitely pick up a fabric shaver So the next tools that we want to show you guys are different grade brushes uh, shout out to Rejuvenator. We ordered uh, these brushes through them there's a soft bristle brush, there's a medium bristle brush, and a stiff bristle brush, and they're obviously used in different scenarios, but we use these along with uh, the Rejuvenator soap products to do deep cleans on shoes. Uh, if you wanna look up Rejuvenator, they do literally every couple days, they do deep cleans of shoes, uh, and they're much more intricate in their videos, and to save a little bit of time, we're not gonna do an entire deep clean but uh, we highly recommend if you're gonna be doing uh, restoration or any deep cleaning of shoes to use Rejuvenator brushes. So the next tool that we wanna talk about is a simple pair of scissors. The emphasis that we wanna put on this is you wanna make sure that they are very, very sharp. Now we use these to basically give haircuts to shoes. And what we mean by that is, here's a pair of Vans, I'm gonna put my hand behind it so you can see. Is every once in a while you'll come across, let me, uh, yeah, all right, we'll get there. You'll see that there is a piece sticking off right there. So what we do, obviously with the scissors, is we make sure that there is a little bit of tension and we snip it off. You wanna make sure that you're not digging into the shoes, you don't wanna damage the shoes, but if they have a little uh, piece of string sticking off, we use very sharp scissors to just snip it off. So the last two things that we wanna show you that we use are a Sharpie and a chainsaw file. Now this is probably the number one tool that we absolutely use the most because it has so many different uses. Uh, the first thing we want to show you is when you come across a pair of shoes and there's a knot in the laces, um, we haven't cleaned these yet and these laces are pretty dirty, but this is a good example. If we decide to keep these laces, 
we can use the pick to get the knot out. Um, you just gotta work it in there. And it helps get any knots in any of the laces and then you just pull it out. Boom, and you're good. We also use the pick if you come across uh, any rocks that are stuck in any of the tread. You have some right here. You just use the end of the pick, give it a little twist and it pops the rocks out. These are obviously very clean. We got, I think we had another rock over here. Obviously we've come across pairs that have a bunch of rocks in all the tread and what you can do is you can just run the line of the tread and it starts popping all the rocks out. We always clean all the rocks out, all the little crevices to make sure that you're good to go. Also, uh, there's no stickers in these shoes, but if you're sourcing at places like Marshalls or Burlington and they have uh, stickers in the shoes, you can reach in and use it to pick the sticker out of the inside of the shoe. The last thing why we wanna point out, rather than just using toothpicks or anything else that's just a sharp object, which you can, the reason we've chosen a chainsaw file is that the, sh the shaft of this file is actually a file. So for example, if you come across the scenario where you've scrubbed the bottom of a shoe and the writing isn't coming off, you can take this file and it, because it's a very fine file and you're going to be very gentle, you can try filing the top layer um, of the writing off. And a lot of the times that does work. We're not going to do it on this pair because we're going to talk about how we use a Sharpie, but keep that in mind. A chainsaw file, you can find it at any local hardware store. You can definitely jump on Amazon. They're super, super inexpensive. When it comes to a Sharpie, we jump in. This is our last case scenario if we can't get the writing off. Uh, we've already tried the sneaker cleaner. We've tried you know, getting it off. We're just gonna use this as an example. We've tried the file and it's just not coming off. Instead of leaving it as writing, again, this is on a used pair of shoes, what we will do is we will take a marker, you see that right there? And we will turn it into a spot. And that it now becomes a spot rather than writing. Again, you're gonna wait for that to dry. Um, it's a used pair of shoes. It's on the bottom. You obviously don't want to be using Sharpie on the top or anything, but only on the very bottom, only as a worst case scenario, uh, we'll use a Sharpie and turn it into that spot rather than writing. All right, that's what we got for you guys today. Hope this video helped uh, add a little into the shoe reselling part of your adventure. Can't stress enough how awesome it's been for us to put a little sweat equity into cleaning and restoring some of the shoes. As always, if you have any questions at all, you can jump into the comments below. And until the next video, we hope you enjoy each and every single step.